Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, right now, today is April 1st, 2024. And there is all of this talk about April 8th, which is only seven days away. So there's supposed to be a solar eclipse. And with that, we are getting so many prophecies and predictions and conspiracy theories that are swirling around the internet. Um, a lot of people think that something very major is going to happen. Uh, something very devastating, some people are predicting. Um, it's really, really an odd time to be in. Uh, scientists are giving warnings as well. Uh, they're saying that this um, eclipse will probably lead to an increase in fatal accidents. Um, you have religious people uh, saying that this is pointing to the coming of uh, Christ. I'm just going to say what they say. Uh, some believe uh, that there's going to be a great exodus. So many things are being put out there uh, concerning this eclipse. A lot of people said there's going to be civil unrest. Um, the system is going to shut down. A lot of people are just really, really guesstimating, estimating, prophesying, predicting. And of course, a lot of conspiracy theories are surrounding uh, April 8th and the eclipse. Now, it seems like every time um, any such event happens, uh, we're getting um, all of this rhetoric. And I like to stick with what I know in scripture. I know that there are major things that are going to happen in the world. According to scripture, um, if you are looking at the signs of the time, uh, we are definitely um, seeing some of the seals of the Most High open up, some of the seals that were talked about in the book of Revelation, right? Uh, we have also noticed that some of the vials um, have been poured out. Some of the vials of the wrath of the Most High have been poured out. I mean, you can't get around that because many of the things that we are seeing happening worldwide definitely lined up with lined up with biblical prophecy uh, concerning these things but the the issue that i'm having with a lot of people and what they're talking about uh, concerning april 8th and the eclipse is there's not the when the bible says no man knows the day nor the hour now of course it talks about when the son of man shall appear but you have people trying to pinpoint the days and the hours um, you know, based on April 8th and, you know, um, Y2K and 2012 and just so many different dates that have come and gone where people are trying to say, uh, based on the narratives that have been put out there, you better pay attention. You better watch out. This is going to happen on this day. That is going to happen on that day, right? Everyone has something that they're trying to get you to focus on. There is even, you know, so much of a push where people are making money off of this date. They have so many people riled up in fear to where they've created a market for themselves. The money makers are having fun. They feed on your fear. But you know what I find interesting? They don't feed on fearing of the most high. Nobody's out here telling you what the Bible says about the, about the end times in the last days. But they want you to be riled up about April 8th the eclipse. Now, I'm not saying that nothing's going to happen on that day because worldwide, on every single day, worldwide, something is happening. Something is happening every day. But I find it interesting that people use these things to uh, get others mobilized in fear, uh, to get other people mobilized, to go to the banks and the stores to stock up to do this. I feel like the stocking up and all of that should be something that you've already done to begin with. Always be prepared for any type of natural disaster. Not saying that this day represents a natural disaster. What I am saying is that uh, this system, people, individuals, channels, news media, all kinds of people want to keep you stirred up in fear over this event. Now, this is what I say. With any day that you are alive on this earth, you should make sure that your anchor holds and grips a solid rock. Make sure that you are in spiritual alignment 
with the Most High's will for your life. That's any day. It could be April 7th, April 9th. Make sure you are ready. When they get you pinned down on a day and you focus your attention on that day, what about today? What about right now? Today, if you were to draw your last breath and close your eyes for the last time, are you ready? Did you make your calling elect an election sure? These are the questions we need to ask ourselves because I feel like the world is always throwing dates out there. They're always throwing events out there. They're always telling us to look out for this date. Look out for that date. But where is the cry to look out for your soul? Of course, I don't expect that to come from the world because the world has their own agenda. The world in general don't believe in the prophecies and the promises of the Most High. But I think even that is kind of fake because they're always doomsday this and doomsday that because I think unconsciously the world knows that something major is going to happen. So they're just trying to line themselves up with a date to make that determination. Now, this is how I feel. There are certain things that um, have been prophesied already in scripture right? They've already been prophesied. So we are looking for those things to take place because the Most High's word spoken. He says his word goes forth out of his mouth and it shall not return void. So even through the mouths of his prophets that have prophesied certain things to happen in the last days, they are happening and they will continue to happen, right? So these are prophecies of old that are unfolding, right? But in terms of someone trying to you know, scare you up about April 8th. Uh, just be sure that you are in tune with the Ruach HaKadosh, the Holy Spirit. Because remember when they forewarned us that uh, there was going to be this uh, dimmick. <laughs> and nothing's funny, y'all. I'm just trying to, you know, lighten up the topic a little. They told, told us beforehand there was going to be this dimmick. And then voila, there was this dimmick. And of course, I cut the word in half. Uh, those of you who can read between the lines know what I'm talking about. So keep in mind that sometimes man orchestrates things uh, to get people's mind in a certain place. And then they lay out what they really intend to do. So keep that in mind as well. But um, also... I want you all to stay tuned with the fact that there are some biblical prophecies that are going to take place. But in terms of man trying to pin down a date, I don't know about that. Um, I'll just say that I hope and I pray that we are all alive and well um, when uh, April 8th comes. And that uh, when April 9th is here, that we are still alive and well. Right? And that the Most High's word is going to continue to play out just as he said it would. Thank you all for listening. I want to know what your thoughts are um, on April 8th and the eclipse and um, all of the prophecies, predictions, and conspiracy theories that are swirling. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? Share it in the comment section as always. Keep it tight and keep it right. But until next time, please stay prayed up. We hope you liked today's topic. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share and like this video, and with that, we're out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel, and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.